And it's time for more Silent Spy, Nancy, Drew, Ned, Carson, Zoe, Ewan, Alec. We're all here. We're all having a great time. And now let's go through our task list here. I think we've got that. Did that. Done. Still have to do that. Find a way to listen in on what Zoe's hiding. Still have to do that. Haven't done that. Haven't done that. Okay, so we still have quite a lot to do here. I wonder if Dad's still angry with us. We'll give him a call up here. I'm stuck here. What do you mean? My passport has been revoked. What? By whom? I don't know. I'm working on it. But I'm not surprised. The world your mom moved in. Yeah, when were you going to tell me about that? I can't fix this for you. I'm not asking you to fix things for me. I'm not helping you. Dad. Oh no. Moira said you took me away from Mom. Is that true? Yes. Why? Because we had an agreement. No more dangerous work. And she would just let you boss her around like that? Yeah, that never happened. I wasn't bossing her around. And to answer your question, no. She wouldn't have and I wouldn't have thought to try. It wasn't a demand, it was an agreement. She agreed. No more dangerous work. That was her end of the agreement. My end was exactly the same thing. Back then, I was prosecuting some people who weren't exactly the type you'd want to upset. Who? You're kidding me, right? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Habit. If you look, you'll find out. But Nancy, please don't. I loved going after the big creeps, and so did your mom. But there came a time when we had to grow up and think about the life we wanted to build. I'm sorry, I guess, that you and Mom ended up sacrificing what you loved for me. It never felt like a sacrifice. Not once. Remember, your mom didn't want to be a spy. They came to her while she was working on a story. Between you and me, she didn't really enjoy the work. She did it because she felt needed. And like you, she never could say no to anyone in need. Coming home and working at the paper, that wasn't a loss. That was the dream she talked about when we first met. Wow. You were too rude to Ned. I was angry. I know, but... I'll talk to him. That's the first time he stood up to me like that. Well, that's the first time he needed to. Okay, you win. Look, I'm not going to be the most helpful person in all of this. But I'll stop being an obstacle. Thank you. Don't thank me yet. You and I have some talking to do when you get home. What did Mom really do? She was a journalist. What kind? You know how you write me and Hannah those letters? Yeah. That's pretty much what she did. She'd head out, tackle some strange mystery that had gotten her attention, and then she'd come back with the answers. Do you know anything about the colony operation? Just what's in the news. Do you think there's any truth to the idea that someone is trying to start it up again? I'm almost certain of it. Why? When people come looking for Kate's things, they always want to focus on what she was working on last. There was this very persistent woman who wanted everything Kate worked on, all of her notes. Recently? Yes. I should have just handed them over. Maybe you wouldn't be drawn into all this. I don't understand anything about this attack. I bet. I know it had your mother obsessed for a very long time. She couldn't figure it out either. She was sure it was part of some long-term plan. Plan for what? That's where she stopped. She never had enough information to put things together. What information could Mom have that's so important? I know I shouldn't be telling you this. <laughs> but you're going to? <laughs> your mother somehow threw a wrench into the entire operation. Her plan before she left, at least from what I could figure out, was to find some scientist, presumably the one who helped with the attack, and put him in protective custody. It sounds like he was just some guy who got in over his head. He'd be happy to hide from everything. I assume she was able to do that, but that's all I've been able to figure ah, out. Ah, interesting. The only thing is that my suspicions with that particular scientist is it was eight years ago, right? So. Wouldn't he be like, I don't know, 50 years old by now or something? Why don't we ever talk about Mom? I didn't want to upset you. Really? Yes. Well, that's why I never talked to you about her. Oh. Yeah. I don't know where to start. Aww. Me either. You know, when it's time, it's time. We'll talk then. 
Aww. Do you think I should work with Zoe? I've asked around. I can't get official confirmation, but my sources here seem to think this Zoe girl might be the real deal. That doesn't mean you should do everything she says. You were right about Moira. How so? She lied to Mom. She promised her she'd be protected here. What? She promised Mom that she'd have a guard at all times during her last trip here. I thought your mom was lying about that. She wasn't. Moira was. Oh. And so Moira just told you this? I think she's been trying to tell someone for a while. She thought she was doing the right thing for Glasgow. That wasn't her decision to make! I know. You might want to talk to her about it someday. <laughs> no! Yikes. I really think you should. Make it home safely and we'll talk about it. Until then, just because she gave you some sob story, don't trust her for a second. I need to know everything. Fine. But hey, do you remember the name of your kindergarten teacher's dog? Sure. Zabo. Good. You still have that impeccable memory. Remember this and tack it onto the back of every single thing I say. Please come home. <laughs> oh, wow, that was Goodbye. quite the heartwarming conversation with dear old dad. And uh, he really wants us to come home, doesn't he? Alright, well, if we look through our inventory here, you can see that we've got some money, we've got a case file, Scotland, we've got a bunch of souvenirs. Yeah, we're collecting those up awesomely. <sighs> so what should we do? Let's see. We have to figure out how to listen in on Zoe's hiding. I know there were flowers over there, but I don't know how hmm. to... Oops. There's flowers here, but... I don't know. Is there any way to bug the phone or? Hmm. We must have to put a bug in there. So maybe we have to. All right, so let's get out of here and uh, head downstairs. The maid's cart is like there all the time. That feels a little suspicious. All right, so let's. She has much Hi. new to say. Talk to you later. Goodbye. So I'm not sure when I'm going to push that button to force her to talk. Hey, kid. I'll let you go. Okay, so he's got Goodbye. nothing for me. Let's go back here and see what the party's still going on here. I have a, I, my feeling is that something that's in here is very important that we need to see. But uh, I think that's going to be interesting reveal there. There was more here. I think there she was. Oh yeah, there she is. All right there. Talk to you later. All right then. Okay, so she's got nothing for me. Okay, we did play that record. Beware the Jabberwock, my son. Take the first of green, second orange, third purple, fourth red. Fifth blue, sixth brown, seventh aqua, eighth pink. Okay, so that has to do with our Jabberwocky poem. Alright, well, we're gonna have to go in the old fashioned way here and figure this out. Um. How am I supposed to know this? This reminds me of the Egyptian game, The Tomb of the Lost Queen. I actually did pretty good with those deciphers of this sort of type. This is either going to be two or in. Okay, so if I put in. So that ending in an O is probably not right. Okay, so what is another letter that's here a lot? Another two letter one here. So we can put T there maybe. Put O here. Hmm. I don't know. Uh. 
Uh, there are a lot of T's. It's probably a vowel. At. So then there's this down here. So it can't be the, because we've been using T there. So another four letter word. Or three letter word. Uh, okay, so it's coming together now. Okay, this, I'm guessing this is computer. M P U E R M. Wow, we totally. That, that in itself was it. That was the word. So that's going to be type. Type in care. Taker. At. Cabin. Computer. For. Scientist number. This must be the contact info for the scientist mom placed into hiding. So maybe with caretakers is the actual passcode? Okay. Let's get out of here. That's the Jabberwocky puzzle solved. Let's go back to the computer. Whoops. I'm not sure if it's just caretakers that we type in. We'll try it. Put that word in. That does for us. It says type in caretakers. That's the scientist's number. I think I need to warn him about what's going on. The cool scientist number. I'm assuming that went right into my phone. So let's get out of here and use our phone. Blocked. Hello, scientist. This is Nancy, calling for Archimedes. They're going to come for me again, aren't they? Maybe. I don't know. Can you tell me why you're so important to them? You know what? Yeah, I'm not living in fear again. I have a family. Just stay calm. Explain how I can help. Help? <laughs> you can't help. You'll be lucky to stay alive. You know who I am? I am a biochemist who made the wrong friend. And fast forward a year, and I'm over my head. These creeps are leveraging my family against me, so I'll make this formula for them and vaccines. Why did you say yes? Because I care about my family more than I care about a world of strangers. Did Revenant threaten your family? Cooked them until I cooperated. Your mother put us into hiding. Why were they after you? What were they looking for? Because I understand the colony virus. The process to tweak that bug until they were satisfied. I'm the only one who knows that... I will do everything I can to keep you safe, but you have to work with me. No, it, it's too late. I'm running. I'm not hiding that from them anymore. They want my work? They can have it. I'll leave it for them to find. You won't find me or anyone else at this number again. Oh no, and there goes the scientist's number. No such luck. A deadline, wow. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, oh yeah, so this was the big long diary. Three, seven, nine, two, seven. Oh yeah, that's right, I gotta solve this too. I don't think we know it, do we? I don't think we know that just yet. Any other gadgets in here that we can use? I did what you said. When are you going to keep your end of the bargain? Don't give me that. She's going to figure things out soon enough. She's coming. Yeah, I got the bag. I'll put it where you can find it. The dead drop location. Yeah, the lockers. I get it. Just promise me you're not going to hurt her. I want to talk to her now! I want to hear her voice! Alec Industries? Sorry, we're not taking cases of- Okay, so we already heard all that. 
Well, should we call Ned and say, dude, help me out here? Don't see anything interesting here. Hmm. What's all this for, anyways? Did we do that already? I want to put this code in for some reason. Just for fun. No, not that code. 379237. Alright, well, that was worth a shot, anyways. I think we already did that. If I'm not mistaken. Let's go back to here. Yay, we're on the train. Now, come and sit. Let's practice. I'm sorry. I just can't. <laughs> like mother, like daughter, I say. Well, too bad. You're doing it. Aww. Did you know I wrote this song? No. I did. That's why I wanted to teach it to you. These aren't just notes. There's something hidden in the music. These notes here, they represent you. They find their way into every song I play. This phrase, this is your father. Are you in the song? Somewhere, but it's not important. You and your dad are all I can hear when I sit down to play. Then why are you leaving? Well, we have no idea how much I want to tell you why, but I honestly can't. Why not? Just know this. If you knew, you would understand. Are you coming back? I really don't know. That's not a fair thing to say. Trust me, kiddo. I know. Oh, I'm gonna cry. Oh my gosh, it's so emotional. Oh, wow. Hey, kid. Alright, so I think Goodbye. we're going to see you, around. see you around. And uh, we'll take a break here from the Silent Spy. Thanks you all for watching. Thank you all for subscribing and liking and all that wonderful stuff. It is really wonderful, and we'll see you very soon.